Welcome back to Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk, 1180-1230, KGEO, 1410-KERI, 1000-KKIM in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and now in the San Francisco Bay Area. Our guest by phone, former Congressman John Leboutier, talking about the POW-MIA issue. John, uh, there have been, what, over 900 sightings of POWs in the last 40 years from Vietnam? Oh, yeah, I think uh, many hundreds, maybe even more than that. And and these are sightings. We've got all sorts of intelligence coming in right up till now, by the way. Obviously, we have had radio intercepts by our own government uh, that I've been briefed on years ago where they intercepted Laotian and Vietnamese military transmissions about the POWs being moved or moving the prisoners from here to here. We knew all that, right? Uh, we knew about uh, flights of uh, prisoners being taken from Laos to uh, uh, Prague, Czechoslovakia, on their way to being given to the Russians. We knew about that. That's years ago. But even now, we have people who come out of Vietnam, out of Laos, who tell unbelievable stories even up to now. Oh, my uh, brother is a truck driver, and every Wednesday he delivers food to a prison camp in northern North Vietnam where American prisoners are, and I, he told me he saw the prisoners. You know, and there's that, that, there are hundreds of these things coming in. Now, what the government wants us to believe as stupid American people is that every one of these stories is a fabrication, that everybody in Vietnam and Laos sits around saying, let's make up stories about something that doesn't exist. Um, uh, just it's hideous. And, and John, why? I mean, why is this going on? But, you mean why is the cover up going on? Yeah, why is it still going I, on? 40 I, I years don't later? know. I mean, I you know until we get one of the cover uppers to talk under oath, we won't really know. But I think that I think what happens is back then, Watergate was happening. Nixon's going down the drain. Ford's about to take over. The government didn't want to revisit the Vietnam War. It was the biggest scar we'd had in my lifetime in this country. And the idea of going back, fighting again to get the prisoners back, all of this was just, uh, 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 you couldn't swallow it. So instead they said, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to say they're all dead, write the issue off, and we move on. And that's what they did. And by the way, the guy put in charge in 1976 of taking the CIA and having that be the lead agency in denying there were any prisoners there and debunking all the evidence was a guy named George Herbert Walker Bush. He was director of Central Intelligence in 1976 under President Ford and under Secretary of State Kissinger. And under his watch is when this very elaborate series of lies became U.S. government policy. And they've been followed ever since. And the CIA runs this thing. They've infiltrated the DIA, that's the Defense Intelligence Agency, And anything to do with live POWs goes through Langley, Virginia, to this day. And their objective is keep the issue down. We don't want it to be a major thing. I think they're worried, for everybody's sake, if this thing were to bubble up today, you guys are are American citizens, and you're, you're doing a radio show. You tell me, man, the American people. Are they not, and would they not be absolutely furious that Washington, D.C., A, left the men there, and B, lied about it for all these years? As they should be. And every president, every senator, all these guys who said, oh, we're doing everything we can to find the truth, all a bunch of baloney. I think the country would be, would rip apart the government. These agencies, the CIA, the Pentagon, all, and then maybe they need to be ripped apart. Because what kind of country are we when these bastards in Washington can leave our heroes behind and lie about it? To us, are, don't we run the country? We're having a conversation with former Congressman John Le Boutier about the POW-MIA issue. 
You know, John, it looks uh, looks to me that from what you said and what others have said that it doesn't matter who's in charge, they're all going to lie to us. Yeah, I think that is true. Now, I'm not saying that the president, I, I don't want to believe the, the worst about these presidents. You know, I don't believe Barack Obama went in there and probably never heard of the POW issue. He's a young guy, had nothing to do with Vietnam. I really doubt that he went in there, and on day one, he said to the Pentagon, oh, by the way, I want you all to keep lying about the POWs. I, I don't believe that. I, and I don't believe Reagan, Nixon. I don't believe any of them. I believe that they were lied to by the permanent bureaucracy that runs all these gigantic departments, that the permanent bureaucracy is protecting itself. It's the biggest CYA operation we've ever seen. Not CIA, CYA. CYA. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I'll tell you, John, it, it's, it's maddening when you, when you do a little research into this because, and you and I talked about this uh, off the air yesterday, but, you know, there, there were people, there, there were soldiers in World War II picked up by the Russians that ended up in Russian labor camps. So here you have American soldiers after World <clears throat> War II that ended up in in the gulags in Siberia. I mean, that's yeah. You know, and, and well, there's a great there's a great book, Marty, called uh, Moscow Bound. I have it right here. Moscow, and it details that it details how after every war, including World War One, but especially World War Two and Korea and the Cold War and Vietnam, the Soviet Union got American prisoners out of those wars and took them up to the gulag. They interrogated them, they brainwashed them, they got information out of them, whatever the hell they do. I mean, it's evil, obviously. And the, 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 the headquarters of evil in our lifetime was Moscow. And this has gone on, and the U.S. government never raises a stink about it. They never do anything about it. We have this joint... For years, we've had this joint uh, U.S.-USSR commission on POWs, and it's now joint U.S.-Russia commission because the USSR is no longer. And um, one of the members of that commission in the 90s and 2000s was John Kerry, uh, Senator Kerry. And do you know that he never attended one meeting? Never attended one meeting. So on this thing, I mean, what kind of priority are you placing on that issue if you don't even go to a meeting? Not that the commission ever did anything, but it just tells us how little they really care about this thing. That's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. So what do we yeah. do? What, what's the, what's, what's, what can we do about this? Well, I, I don't want to be cynical, but... I used to say when I was on shows in the 80s, <clears throat> when people would ask me that, I'd say, call your congressman, call your senator, and tell them I want the truth to come out about the POWs. I, and I really believe that was the way to go. But I've, I've given up on that. I, I don't think our government could care less what we think about it. They don't do anything. And, and that's not to say that every congressman and senator is a bad guy. They're not. And, but you know what? They're not in the executive branch. This cancer that we've been talking about is in the executive branch, and it's in the national security slash intelligence area. CIA, DIA, NSA, we have like 22 intelligence agencies, believe it or not. We have a lot of them. And they are, uh, on this issue for sure, they're corrupt. That I know, because I've tasted it and seen it myself. <clears throat> they're corrupt, and all our yelling on these sh your show and other shows won't do it any good. I think, number one, I would say, seriously, pray to God that some break will occur that will put this thing back on the front burner. Because once this issue gets hot again, if there's new evidence, new pictures of video of prisoners or a couple prisoners got out, you know, something to reinvigorate interest in this thing, I think then the American people would explode over it. Oh, no question um, about it. And rip apart the U.S. government from inside. Which it needs to be done. John, we've got about 45 yeah. seconds left, and I've got a quick question for you. John McCain, um, he's horrible on this issue. Why? Uh, absolutely the worst. He, I, I've dealt with this guy since 1974, the year after he came back. And he, first of all, he's the most miserable, arrogant, awful human being I've ever met in politics. <laughs> 
and I am a conservative Republican, and this guy is just awful. Why he's so, and he's bad on everything uh, to deal with personally, but on this issue, it smells very bad. I don't know if he just doesn't want any other people to come back and usurp him as the most famous POW. Maybe that's it. I don't alleged, but it has been alleged that he was brainwashed over there. Uh, And John, unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm going to have to leave it at that, but I'd love to have you to come back. I'd love to have you come back. Let's do part two sometime. Yeah, let's do it. We'll be back in 167 hours on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180.